Okay, to determine if a function is even, odd, or neither, you're simply going to plug in a negative x. You're going to replace the f of x with, in a sense, a f of negative x. And here's what we know. If f of negative x equals f of x exactly the same, then it's considered even. If you plug in a negative x and you get basically the complete, all the signs change, it is considered to be odd. If it doesn't do either one of those things, then it is considered to be even. So I'm going to come over here and look at this one. If f of x is this, I'm going to do f of negative x, which simply means take that function, wherever the x is, I write it down, and I'm going to plug in a negative x. Well, what's a negative x times a negative x going to be? It's going to be positive x squared minus 4. Does this look exactly like the original function? Yes, it does. So it is considered to be even. Go to this one right here. I'm going to go for f of negative x. I want it to go exactly the same thing. Wherever the x is, I made that, and now I'm going to put in a negative x. Now, cubed and negative times a negative times a negative makes that, and that's going to be, notice, did my signs change? Or I could write this this way. Is it the original equation with the negative in front? It sure is. So therefore, it is odd. And then let's test this last one here. I'm going to put in the f of negative x for the original equation. This one is cubed plus 1. And I'm going to put a negative x in. Well, that's going to give me negative x cubed plus 1. Now notice, this one changed signs, but that one did not. So in order for it to be odd, they both have to change. To be even, none of them can change. One changed, one didn't. So that makes this one a neither. Also, there's a nice little shortcut. If you look up here, 4 is the same thing as, if I had x to the 0 power right there, that's 1, and 1 times that is still negative 4. Notice the exponents here were all what? Even. Here's a 1. What do you notice about all the exponents there? They are odd. Here, if you did that x0 thing, you have a odd and a even. They were both not the same, and you had a neither. That is a way to hint to help. Does it work on works on most problems? Unless you have like square roots or something with parentheses that does affect. But if you have a straight function like this, you can use that type of a little format to kind of cheat, determine whether it is odd or even. Also, even functions look symmetric. If I was to graph x squared minus 4, it would look like that. Symmetric to the y-axis. Odd functions, this one here would look probably, I think, something like this. And if you turned it upside down, it would look exactly the same. And this one here would look like this here. It would be x cubed plus 1. It, it would look something like this. It's not symmetric. And if you turn it upside down, it's, it's not exactly the same because upside down it would look like this should be going through this point right here. It would look like that, upside down. Not quite the same. So that's another way you can kind of tell very easily if they're even, odd, or neither. Those are three ways that you can work those out.